yes boys welcome back to another prediction video didn't do one last week um yeah just uh it was a pretty boring card looking at it on paper but it was actually a banger card my best last week um i think i was up two point something units or something like that but like man my bets uh my bets were terrible last week um i basically had to like do in play bets like for example like jeff neil i put like a i think it was a unit or something to uh win like a unit uh at like plus 100 in play like after like round one um and then i put like i literally put like four units on like um <laughs> Jamal Hill and I put an in-play bet on him also like plus 100 I couldn't believe it like I was literally looking at free money at that point um after the third round he was plus 100 somehow but yeah the bookies messed that one up for sure but however you know going on to this week um I'm feeling kind of confident there's a lot of uh, like parlay opportunities in this card for sure like you have these many fighters with like not too just odds like maybe too just for like a straight uh you know straight bab but you know uh like you know parlaying them together like it's gonna be uh it's gonna be like a good week for that for sure one of the best weeks i've seen in a long time but yeah let's get into our first fight uh we have yusuf Zalal taking on damian blackshear or damon however you say that um i was i was looking at some damon's uh regional you know um fights and he was like he's quite a powerful guy he's got a big power in that right hand he's got decent offensive and defensive grappling and really good B bjj with i think it's eight submission wins on his record however i just feel like he's taking this on a week's notice like that's like that's key in this uh matchup in my opinion you have yusuf salal who's only 25 uh coming off i think it was a year layoff uh, uh, let me just check that i think it's a year yes a year layoff against sean woodson he's on a three fight skid however like look at the guys he's using to he's using to elliot deporia sung Hui Choi, and sean woodson these is three of those guys are legit man and i do like the drop and weight class for sure against like sung boon Choi. uh like he, he just seemed like he was um he was just a smaller guy in there and he, he looked really good in the skills to, uh skills um the he looked good in the way in today so that's like that's a great uh great sign in my opinion i just feel like uh he's even on the feet if this is on the feet uh he's gonna be able to i point Damian Blackshear and just use his movement uh this whole fight and you know just pick him apart from range use his size use his length use his reach and you know um you know get this fight uh by decision um I put a two unit bet on to win 1.6 units uh on Zalal um I just feel like he's just a better overall fighter and you know uh damon blackshear has not fought the best competition like look at the guy's record he's fighting like 11 and 7 5 and 0 uh 5 and 1 5 and 2 i mean yeah 5 and 1 5 and 0 it's not bad records but the last guy just beat was what was it uh, again what was 11 and 7 like what is that record man come on you gotta be fighting better uh, guys than that to get into the ufc in my opinion uh so yeah give me zalal to just outpoint him this whole fight. Maybe uh, mix in some takedowns uh, like he usually does in this fight and yeah, get a decision win. Moving on up the card, we have Jason Witt taking on Josh Quinlan. I have Josh Quinlan in this fight all day. Uh, I just feel like with his like power and all the steroids he's taking, um, <laughs> that m3 metabolite is uh adjusting this boy to the absolute max uh he's gonna be able to get this win um i just jason witt's chin bro is is just so dodgy it really is the dodgy chin <laughs> like if you're trying to bat and jason witt bro and like fear josh quinlan good luck to you bro you're gonna be stressed out that fight <laughs> holy shit bro like uh, like i think he's been finished six six times by KO slash TKO and his eight uh, losses, which is you know quite a lot, and I feel like even if like Jason Wynn can get this fight to the ground, um, 
Josh Quinlan has that. Josh Quinlan has that get up game. He's a black belt with BJJ. Uh, he's got. I was looking at regionals. Uh, he, he was taken down, but he was get up game is actually quite decent. But if Jason Wick can't get this fight to the ground, uh, it's going to be over very quickly. I mean, we'll see in the probably the first thirty seconds how this fight is going to turn out. To be honest, uh, I'm, I'm expecting Jason Wick to you know get this fight down quickly, and if he doesn't. It's going to be a long night for him. Uh, probably not long because he'll be out of there inside the first round, probably. But yeah, uh, give me Jason. Uh, Jason, give me Josh Quinlan by TKO uh, in the first round. Um, if this fight does go to decision, it's more than likely Jason Witt just controlling him the whole fight and just, you know, laying on top of him, uh, getting this fight to the ground over and over and over again. Um, so yeah, I just can't really see Josh Quinlan winning a decision. Um, so yeah, I think it's like money lines really that, uh, KO slash TKO, uh, prop, uh, if you want to play that, but I'm not playing that. I was playing it last week and I was like, mm, the MMA gods just for like, nah, bro, you're, uh, you, you gotta, <laughs> like, they just like voided that bet, bro. Like they just give me my money back. So I was just like. I'm not even going to try it this weekend. So, yeah. Uh, if you're looking at something like that, do Josh Quinlan. Uh, I think he's like minus one, 110 or something, his uh, KO prop. So, yeah, do that. Moving on up the card, we have Uri Osborne versus Tyson Nam. Uh, I've went with Uri Osborne in this fight. Um, I've got a... Um, Excuse me, I've got a parlay with Uday Osborne. Uh, so I do, and I have I have made a mistake with uh, putting a bet on fight not fight to go the distance. I misclicked and, you know, put it one unit, probably going to lose that. Nah, I don't know. It, it's actually, it's not a terrible bet looking at it, but like, man, it's going to be a sweaty one. It's going to have me absolutely sweating. Like, that my final two and a half minutes, bro, is going to have me, like, locked into my screen. <laughs> but, yeah, like, Tyson Nam's got, I think he's 70% 70, 70 striking defense, which is also which is very impressive. But, like, Uday Osborne has a wrestling advantage and grappling advantage, and he has the overall activity in this fight. Tyson Nam is just very, like, uh, like one punch. One, two, done, he's done for a while. He'll move about. He's just so boxing heavy as well. And I think Uday Osborne's a way more dynamic striker. He's got flying knees, he's got nice kicks. Uh and like I said, he's got he's got way more pass to victory in my opinion. The only pass to victory Tyson Nam has is by uh knocking this guy out. And I do realise like Uday Osborne is a very hittable guy and he he's quite chinny. However, um I just feel like he's like it's very important for me to have a fighter that has multiple paths to victory. And uh, Uday Osborne does have that. Um, over Tyson Nam, he's just very, like, boxing heavy and it's just very low output. So, yeah, give me uh, Uday Osborne by, by decision. Even though it's, that's a tough one. Tyson Nam hasn't been finished in over 10 years or something like that. And... Uday Osborne, I do like him to get the win, and it'd be very impressive to finish a guy like Tyson Nam, a very durable, uh, tough veteran. So yeah, give me uh, Uday Osborne by decision, or maybe a late stoppage in, in this fight, I wouldn't be surprised. Going on, up the card we have um, Gabriel Benitez taking on... Charlie Ontiveros. Uh, I've got Gabriel Benitez in this fight all day. I think he's the biggest favourite in this card, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Charlie Ontiveros is just shit. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, he sucks. I mean, both of these guys, do the UFC need guys like this? Like, this is the definition of Bellator right here. Like, I don't know, bro. Like, I feel like the UFC like, are just wasting pay <laughs> money on these guys. But, you know uh ufc clearly know what they're doing so uh yeah just keep these guys here 11 and 8 and 22 and 10 one and five, uh, four in their last five fights and uh two 
uh, yeah, two and three in their last five, five last five fights. So yeah, um, but yeah, no, seriously, Gabriel Benitez has just I don't know, way more pass to victory in this fight. He's got better grappling. He's got better kicks. He's just, he's more powerful. He's faster. Um, he's just more dynamic in my opinion. And I mean, Charlie on Tavares has some wild striking, but after two minutes, bro, he's probably gonna quit in the middle of the octagon. Probably just fall down, pretend like his ankle snapped in half, and then just like I don't know, say ref stop, bro, stop. Uh, but yeah, like that guy just quits every moment he gets, bro. Like honestly, I've never seen a guy like. <laughs> like holy shit bro that man is a quitter uh yeah give me gabriel benitez to win this fight i have him in a parlay with uday osborne and i'll get on to the guy who's um uh, the next guy who's in that parlay it's just a three leg parlay um yeah give me uh charlie on Tavares or charlie on whoa no 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 give me uh gabriel benitez just to um use just just better overall game to win. I mean, even if you could just get like the clearest path to victory in this fight is getting it to the ground. Literally, this guy sucks. He's so bad, bro. Like his ground game is legit tragic. Um, zero get off game, zero jujitsu. Like it's just terrible. Uh, if Gabriel Benitez got this fight to the ground, I could really see this being over inside two minutes. <laughs> I mean, honestly. Um, uh, I mean, if you want to play the over. Like under 1.5 uh, it's a sweaty bet that was it minus 300 or something minus 275 and the fight not to go the distance is a good bet that's probably like minus 700 at this point um but yeah the violence is the way in this matchup if you want to parlay violence uh with like with uh other uh non-violent slash violence bets it's all bad play but yeah, give me Gabriel Benitez to run through this guy. He is tragic. Moving on up the card. Who oh, really cares? <laughs> this fight is just washed, bro. Uh, Nina Nunes taking on <laughs> Cynthia Cavillou, bro. These two women do not want to be here. Let's be real here. Um, If you're betting on this fight, I gotta respect you, brother. I really do. Like that's that's pretty impressive of you to bat in this fight. You've got balls of steel. Um Cynthia Cavio quit in her last fight. Uh who was who was it again? Somebody just check, sorry. Terrible research right now. Uh yeah, Andrea Lee. Um she quit on the stool. Uh or like I can't really remember the fight to be honest. I didn't really do much research on this fight. I'm sorry. I'm really I'm sorry. But yeah, this fight is terrible. Um <laughs> Uh, yeah, she quit in her last fight, and Nina Nunes should quit in her last few fights. Um, both these women really don't want to be here. This is just a paycheck, uh, to be honest. Well, like, both of these women are 36, 35. Uh, Nunes has the better overall crisper striking. Cynthia Calvillo has got the better wrestling. Uh, give me... Give me Cynthia Cavio in this fight. Uh, just, just to control her. Just get her up against the cage. Take her down. Use her wrestling the whole fight. And just grind out a decision win. Yeah, that's really it for me. <laughs> I wouldn't bet in this fight, brother. Moving on up the card. We have Lucas Braski uh, taking on Martin Boudet. Martin Boudet, no question. This is very easy. Lucas Braski, bro. Go. If if you got to this point on this video, go to the weigh-ins today and then go to a share dog picture. Uh, there's no way it must be a clone, bro. That is not him. There is no way, bro. He's he was definitely just in the regional scene. Uh, I think he popped. I don't want to. Don't correct. Uh, don't like take me on this. I think he popped for estrogen or something, which is like a drug that uh people like take when they're coming off peds or something to i, I don't really know much about it uh that, that's coming from uh addicted to combat shout out to him um but yeah uh 
he was definitely on steroids in the regional scene. I mean, look at his body on Sherdog, and then look at his body in the weigh-ins today. It's another person. It, there's no way it's the same guy. Um, oh, his Dana White Contender Series uh, fight, it was terrible. He has no skill at all. Uh, he's got big power. I mean, kind of. Not really. I mean, <laughs> he's got decent hooks. Uh, but yeah, Martin Budai is just going to control this guy against the cage. Beat him up from there. That's how he does it. Use his size. He's got like a 40, 40 to 50 point ad uh, advantage on this guy. It, it He's got a massive weight advantage. Um, so yeah, let me just give me Martin Budai just to, he's got a really good chin also to get this guy against the cage. Where where am I and finish this guy in the second round? To be honest, it's gonna be a, I think it's gonna be a very easy night for uh, Martin Budai. To be honest, uh, I have him in the three leg parlay. Budai, Uday Osborne, and was it Benitez? Is that his name? Uh, let me just check this. It is Benitez, isn't it? Yes, it is Benitez. Gabriel Benitez. That's my three leg part there. I have uh, 0.5 units on that because I've literally put every single unit that I have right now in my bankroll that I'm willing to gamble on Zalal. If Zalal wins, I might actually just put a unit on it, to be honest. Um, that's three leg part there. But yeah, I think I win one. Uh, unit from that if that cashes but yeah i'm not entirely sure but yeah give me a martin boudet just to grind on this guy and finish him in the second round lucas Baraski has zero cardio i mean literally zero cardio at all uh the guy was guy just gasses hard uh every fight he's in and obviously he's not on that roids anymore. Uh, going on to our next fight we have lupita goodenese uh taking on angela hill Man, people are sleeping on Jill Hill. Uh, I, I do think Lupita good in it. People are going to like hit on me right now. <laughs> and call me a clown. Last prediction video, I went 11 and 2, by the way, just saying. Um, yeah, I mean, dude, she has literally lost. Like, there's some of these losses she's had, she should have won. Like, honestly. Uh, she should have beat uh, Michelle Waters, and that was a robbery in my opinion. Uh, should have beat Amanda Lemos, she's looking really good. And obviously lost to uh, uh, John Daruba. He's a really, he's a decent grappler, really good uh, BJJ uh, fighter. Uh, and I do think that she'll struggle again against a wrestler um, like uh, Lupita Goodenese here. Um, if this stays on the feet, I think Angela Hill probably just picks her apart for three rounds, but I just can't see that happening. I see Lupita Goodenese uh, failing it out for maybe the first minute and then just shooting instantly, getting a takedown and just controlling her and just doing that over and over and over again. Angel Hill has not showed a great uh, get-up game in her last few fights, to be honest. Uh, and her cardio was questionable, honestly. Like, she does gas quite hard in fights. Um... So yeah, give me Lupita, uh, Lupita good and ease to just, you know, wear, wear her out just the whole three rounds. Angela Hill's one tough uh, fighter to finish for sure. She has been submitted before, but I just, uh, if you're not getting submitted by Ver Verna, John, I can't really say that, John Deruba, um, yeah, you, you're, you've got really good uh, submission defense for sure. And she was put in some uh, troubling uh, situations in that fight. Um, yeah, Lippy. But I, I'm staying away from this fight, man. I, I really am. I just don't like this fight at all. Uh, just something's telling me. There's something just in the chest area of Rose telling me, nope, do not bet in this fight because uh, Angela Hill's game. Angela Hill is game 13 and 12 record. She shouldn't really have a record like that. Let's be real. Her skills aren't even that bad uh, And she's had close fights with really good uh, women in that division Moving on up the card we have Gerald Mearshart GM3 taking on Bruno Silva uh, I'm gonna go Bruno Silva all day in this matchup uh, Bruno Silva is just the better uh, like overall mixed martial artist um i do feel like both of these guys have passed the victory it's straightforward 
it's not like one has more past past the victory than than anyone else, but one has a better past the victory in my opinion. Uh, Bruno Silva. Uh, so black belt BJJ. People are going to be looking at six submission losses in his uh, record, I think, or five something like that. But he hasn't been submitted since 2016, and the one before that was 2012. Since 2012, I've just spat all over the place. Uh, he ha he is 17 and two in his, his overall record since 2012. Like I just said. Gerald uh, Mearshar is always game like his like chin is so like weird like you don't know if he has a good chin or a bad chin like I think he's just the most hittable guy I've ever seen that's why he gets rocked every single fight he takes massive shots Bruno Silva is a guy with extremely big power I mean if you're going three rounds and not getting knocked out on the feet by Alex Piera that's very impressive man honestly there is a slight like like he got controlled by is it what's his name is the fir first name Andrew Sanchez yes um he got controlled in the first two rounds against Andrew Sanchez who's a decent grappler in his uh in his own right but like a decent wrestler but like I don't know man it, I do think minus 300 is I think yeah I think he's still sitting around minus 300 uh is the right um uh, you know um what do you call it right price for him right odds for him um I think submission like if you want to play Gerald Mershart the only way you can really play him is that submission prop I think it's plus 600 so yeah play uh Gerald Mershart if you'd like Gerald Mershart in this fight but I just think Bruno Silva is going to be too much for uh Gerald Mershart on the feet and he'll get this done probably the first round if you do like a violence bet fight not to go the distance isn't a bad bet I think it's like minus uh what even is it to be honest um i can't even check well uh, probably like minus like 600 500 i don't know something like that but yeah ch ch maybe uh take a look at the under 1.5 if this went over 1.5 i'd be surprised i would be surprised for sure so yeah if you're looking to put something like violence in a parlay maybe that under 1.5 is a good uh good bet to do that um bruno silva is just gonna be too much on the feet for gerald Mearshart, who is let, let's be real, he's dog shit on the feet. He's terrible. Um but he's obviously got that really good he's like he's like the Paul Craig of the middleweight division. He really is. Like he just he just somehow wins. He just wins and he's just not good. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just I just don't think Gerald Mearshart is a good fighter, but he uh does have a pass to victory in this fight, get it to the ground, submit the guy and just go home i guess <laughs> but yeah uh, i think uh bruno silva's path to victory is more like prevalent than jaron mirchardt's uh submission uh so yeah give me a uh, bruno silva first round knockout moving on up the card we have andrea andrea fucking hell can't even say that name bro. lipsky okay lipsky taking on hachivara I just lost Phil Bracken, so that name. <laughs> uh, Ariani Lipsky, that's how you say it. Uh, taking on Katuara, zombie girl. Uh, I've got Lipsky in this fight, for sure. Um, I just feel like Lipsky is more overall just better, like, technical striker. And the clear path to victory here is just take her to the ground. I beg. I'm literally on my hands and knees for you, Lipsky. <laughs> Take it to the ground and you win this fight. It's so obvious. She's at American Top Team. That's a really good wrestling gym. Uh, let's hope she's been working on that wrestling. However, I would say, how is she more of a favourite now than last week? She literally just missed weight. Looked like death on the scales. Was um, told by the doctors you can't fight on, this on last week's card. And now a week later, she's more of a favourite than last week what it makes zero sense um like i think she's like minus 200 now or something like that uh zombie girl's not a bad underdog but i really just don't see her winning this fight like if you're having close fights with uh what's her name jion kim it is jion kim yes if you're having close fights with her man you are dog shit um <laughs> 
<laughs> oh god, I'm so brittle. Uh, and he lost that fight, in my opinion, but whatever. Um, yeah, Ariana Lipsky's is way more tactical. She's got better kicking. Uh, Zombie so Girl's very hittable. And if she can get this fight to the ground, it's probably going to be over. I could see this being a submission uh, victory for Ariana Lipsky. Uh, zombie girl is really bad on the ground. She doesn't really know what to do when it gets there. And like we've seen on, even just by looking at Ariana Lipsky's record, if you're having that many submissions, um, on it, you know, you're somewhat decent at BJJ. Uh, it's always, it's always, it's all, not always the best thing to look at someone's record and be like, wow, she's good at, uh, BJJ. But you can tell by just watching some of her tape, she's good, uh, you know, she's got decent grappling. Uh, so yeah, give me an Ariana Lipsky by uh, submission. But however, there is a good bet. There was a good bet, but it's not really good bet anymore. It's plus 100 now. Uh, fight not to go the distance. Uh, Lipsky has showed not that great of heart in her fights. And she's uh, looked chinny. Uh, Kachuara has looked... She's, a t she's tough, but her, her submission defense and grappling is really shit. So... Uh, Ariana Lipsky could, you know, uh, submit her or uh, catch you out with, you know, her big, uh, sh like, uh, hands uh, could land on Lipsky and, you know, knock her out. Uh, so, a violence bet in this fight's not a bad look, but I think it was, like, plus 150 uh, last week. Now, it's plus 100, so money has came in big time on that fight, for sure, on the violence bet. Moving on up the card, we have Devin Clark taking on Azamat Mirzakhanov. Um, I said that name pretty well. Proud of myself. Um, I've got uh, Devin Clark in this fight. Uh, sorry about the audio there. Uh, I forgot to actually turn that down. There we go. Um, yeah, I've got Devin Clark not winning this fight. <laughs> Uh, he's got good grappling, but Azama has showed decent takedown defense. Devin Clark's, like, he's small for light heavyweight. I'm sorry. He's a small light heavyweight. Um, like, he, all his, like, all his weight just comes from his legs, man. Like, uh, I don't know. I just feel like, um, Azama, uh, is going to land big on Devin Clark. Devin Clark has showed, uh, his chin's questionable and his heart is questionable also. Like, I, I, the money has came in on Devin Clark, but man, like, Azama is just... I, I'm, I'm thinking about Penn Azama, man, like, a minus 145, and that line is dropping uh, by the minute. Uh, I think he's going to land big. I think people are fading Azama on the his last fight against Tafon and Chukwi. And Chukwi's not a bad fighter, man. Like, everyone has these performances where they're just not, like, at their best. And I think that was just one of them. One of those fights for Azamat. Uh, Azamat's going to get this done inside the first round, in my opinion. And uses just overall striking to knock this guy out. And his power is lethal. Um, the only way I can see Davin Clark winning is getting it to the ground. And Azamat's takedown defense is quite... He's really good. Um as we've seen in the past uh, by just watching tape. So yeah, give me Azamat by first round TKO. A violence bet is not a bad bet on this uh, fight for sure. Um, the only way Devin Clark can win this fight uh, is probably by decision. So if you're going for a violence bet, probably just put it on TKO uh, inside the distance for Azamat uh, to get this done. Moving on up the card, we have, um, sorry, one sec. I had to take on my retainers, bro. I was not doing a breakdown with that thing in my mouth. <coughs> that sounds a bit weird. Uh, anyway, uh, we have Yasmin Yorigi taking on Lasmin Luciendo. Play you said. Um, yeah, <laughs> I've got Yasmin in this fight. Minus 200, I think, is what she's still at. Um... Yasmin looks really good, man. It's like, she's going to be a prospect, I'm telling you, man. 23 years of age, and she's looked really good in tape. She's probably one of my more confident picks of the card. Um, just watching other people speak about her, like Brandon Royval was saying she has 15 out of 10 cardio, 7 out of 10 um, 
BJJ and like just really good striking. Um, <clears throat> just people are so high on this gr uh, girl who've trained with her, who have coached her, um, you know, and have just sparred with her. Um, Yasmin has got really good punches. Lucien, I don't really know much about her to be honest. I I, I didn't really find much tape on her. Um, and like Yasmin is just I think she's gonna beat the shit out of this girl to be honest. Like got really good punch. I think she's got six out of eight by KO, I think, or stoppages. Um Aviden's bet is not bad in this fight for sure. I think both women have decent uh Decent uh, finish rates, and if you're getting plus money on a decent finish rate, uh, you know, uh, you know, fighters take that all day, man. Take that all day. But I've got Yasmin in a parlay with Bruno Silva. I'm pretty sure. Um, I have laid 0.5 units. I'll probably lay down more to be honest. Um, because I, like I'm just waiting on if Yusuf Salah wins. We're in. We're in the betting scheme up for this card for sure. Um, but if he loses, man, I just got to hoop and pray my other best <laughs> win. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, bro. Uh, yeah, give me Yasmin. Just, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm thinking a stoppage here. Second round stoppage. Uh, this girl's not very not very good. The, the Sindhu guy. Uh, guy. Uh, she kind of looks like a guy. But yeah, I've been cancelled. Um... Yasmin uh, just got the overall is better MMA game here. Uh, really good striking from what I've seen. And people are very high on her. So yeah, give me uh, Yasmin by a stoppage in the second round. It, it doesn't really matter. I just see her finishing this girl. Um, yeah. Moving on up the card, we have <coughs> David Unaima taking on Nate Landwehr. I'm going to upset a lot of people. a tough one bro this is a tough one the odds minus 330 you taking the piss what did, you, did they not watch his last performance guy lost to mason jones as well i mean mason jones isn't bad but come on bro like and he was on a week's notice but still like bro what Dude almost lost to Garrett Armfield. Was he not like doing the chicken dance in that fight? And he was like almost, uh, he was taken to the ground. I think, I'm not sure. I think he took uh, Armfield to the ground also. Uh, but yeah, that first round was dicey, bro. Against a guy who's not very good and on a week's notice. I've got Lena Landwehr in the swipe, bro. <clears throat> I'm just going to say it. I really am. I think Onama, if Onama can't, to get this guy uh, out of here in the first round. I think it's going to be a long night for him. I really do. Near the train, bro. This guy has cardio for days. And I was watching other people's uh, you know prediction videos. Trying to get different looks on the fights. And people were bringing up stats. He gets better and better and better as the fight goes on. Um, like, I'm I'm impressed by Nate Landwehr. I He's not the best mixed martial artist. But for this matchup, I, I, I don't mind it. I really don't mind it. Um... <clears throat> Like, if you can get, if you can get plus seven hundred, plus six hundred after round one, uh, if Unama wins and it gets out of there, obviously, I'm taking the whole day. I'm taking her. I'm taking Nate Landwehr to, uh, you know, win the second and third round, or even get a late stoppage in this fight. Um, David Unama is a very powerful guy. Um, Got decent grappling. Nate Landwehr puts on a pace that many guys can't keep up with. And he's a, a regional champ in a very good organisation. Um, yeah, give me a Nate Landwehr to, you know, to just lose the first drive. Maybe take a couple big shots. He is uh, very durable. He has been finished a few times. But he can't take a big shot um, and, can, and can come back from it. Um, I just, I just don't think that David Onama has impressed me, man. That guy is so hittable also. He's very hittable. Uh, striking defense is dog shit, let's be honest here. Um, I'm just not impressed from what I've seen from him. I'm, I'm really not. The hype train is just too much, and the, the train's going to be stopped by Nate. Uh, so, yeah, give me uh, Nate, uh, the train, Landwehr, to 
beat this guy maybe a late stoppage in the third round. I really just, I, I don't know. I was watching a guy uh, with James Crisis, who's obviously the coach of David Unami. He put a $3 million bet on David Unami. You're going to be shitting yourself, brother. I'm telling you, you will be shitting yourself if this gets out of round one. I really, I, I don't, I just don't like Unama in this matchup at all. Going on up the card, we have Chitu Verrett taking on um, <clears throat> Dominic Cruz. I don't know why, like I paused, like it was a hard word, or hard uh, name to say. Um, <clears throat> I've got... This is a tough one. I'm a hardcore, like I'm a hardcore Dom fan, bro. Like I just love watching the guy fight. It's just, it's just so unique. Like it's once in like, it's just one of those fighters you have to watch. Like, cause he's so different. My hair is terrible right now. Um, he's so different. Like I just love watching Dom fight. <clears throat> the Banto made goat for sure. Uh, I think Marlon Vara is gonna win this fight though. I do. <clears throat> um, at minus two forty. I think he's still minus two forty. Um. I don't, I wouldn't be confident, man. Like, people are very confident to do better, but he gives up rounds in the early stages of the fight. And we know Dom, he, he likes to, he also isn't the fastest starter uh, we've ever seen, but, you know, he, he's not a slow one by any means. He, uh,. <clears throat> I feel like more, um, Chido Vera is going to be working those legs the first few rounds and then uh, eventually going to be going to start to, you know, go up high with his kicks, do his spinning kicks, do all of that stuff that, uh, you know, the the hook kicks, just the high, high kicks, all of those kicks. Uh, he's got a variety of kicks, really good uh, arsenal in his kicking game. Um, I just feel like Dominic Cruz is going to have Early, early success, like most people do against Marlon Barry. I think uh, Rob Font won the first round, if I'm not mistaken, and then he got brutalized through the rest of the fight against uh, Marlon Vera. Um Yeah, I think Marlon Vera is going to take the first round off, lose that, and probably just keep on working those legs, attack those legs, start going high. And Dom is the type of fighter to, you know, see patterns in people's game he likes to analyze see the patterns that people are doing and then you know uh work his game off that but cheeto vera is one of those guys that has a weird pattern so he's one of those guys okay he has a boxing pattern and then he'll throw a spinning kick throw a hook kick throw a head kick and i can see dominic cruz just you know doing his movement and then slipping out and then getting hit by a, a head kick here. I really could see see that. And then him shooting for a, t a double leg takedown like he always does. He, we knew that that's one of his things that he does when he's hurt badly is shoot for a takedown. And I could see Tito Vara sprawling, latching up a Darce choke. And people are, people are sleeping on his submission game. He has more submissions than I think knockouts, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, he's got a really good submission game. But, yeah, I think uh, a submission is alive for Tito Vera in this fight, for sure. Dominic Cruz isn't the easiest guy to submit. He's been submitted one time in his whole career uh, against Uriah Faber. Um, and then, as obviously, his other two losses. That was an early stoppage against Henry Cejudo, and he was actually starting to you know, warm up and get into the fight. Arguably, he was winning, that, winning the third round against Henry. Um, but, yeah, give me... Uh, Chido Vera by sub, I know that's a weird, it, more than likely, more than likely he'll get a TKO in this fight, more than likely, obviously, but, uh, and even if it goes to decision, like, like, I, I, I don't know, if you're looking to play violence, you gotta play violence on the Chido side, if you're looking at the under 4.5, there's no point playing Dom. There really is no point playing Dominic Cruz because I just he's we know he's not a finisher at all. I think most of his fights are decision wins. Uh, last what was his last uh, when it was against the oh it was against a Japanese guy. I forgot his name. It was like years ago when he came back and then he took another year off and then fought TJ. Um, but yeah. Uh, I I think Chido Vera is gonna be uh, gonna be very 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 live for a submission here. Uh, after the first round, you might be able to get like a maybe minus minus one ten minus one twenty on him. Um, 
which could be a li good live uh, betting opportunity if you'd like Cheeto Bear in this fight. Um, so yeah, give me a Cheeto Bear to submit him. Uh, there you have it for my predictions. Um, <clears throat> honestly, I didn't do too much research this card because I had many things going on during the week. But I did some, you know, did my bare, not bare minimum, but, you know, somewhat, you know, I so I could understand the fights. Uh, let's just go through it one more time. Yusuf Zalal, I have a bet on two units to win 1.6. Uh, Jason Witt taking on Josh Quinlan. If you like violence, which I like violence in this fight for sure, you got to go with Josh Quinlan by knockout. I think it's minus 110 or something. Basically his money line, to be honest. Ure Osborne uh, take it on Tyson Nam. I do like the over 2.5, but I it's a risky one. It is a sweaty one. You're gonna have that. You're gonna have to be wearing one of those sweat bands over your head, bro, during that if you're betting on something like that. I think my boy uh Blood Money Bets is uh doing over 2.5, so he's gonna be sweating buckets, bro. He has a hundred dollars per unit, which is mad. Um and then going Gabriel Benitez. I have Gabriel Benitez. Violence is the play on this uh, for sure. I have him in a parlay with. Um, who do I have him in a parlay with? God, I've like forgot already. No. Let me just check. Um, I have him in a parlay with Uday Osborne and Martin Boudet. Uh, Gabriel Benitez, Uday Osborne, Martin Boudet is my three leg parlay. Uh, 0 0.5 to win 0 0.8 uh, f units. Uh, and then Yunez versus... Uh, just don't even bat in that fight, man. There's no point. Like, there's really no... Why would you bat in this fight? I mean, it's a dog or pass situation here. Nina Nunez could win this fight. It really is a 50-50 fight. Like, who wants it more is going to win this fight for sure. Uh, but I just can be asked betting on something like that. A 50-50 fight that's like... He wants it more in, like, you know, at uh, this stage in their career. Uh, Lucas Braski is going to get dominated by Martin Boudet. He's going to get slammed on his head in this fight. He's going to get destroyed. Um, yeah. Um, <laughs> Angel Hill, I can see uh, Martin Boudet actually uh, finishing him. So I think he's like plus 100, I think, or minus 110, which is good odds for that. Um, Angel Hill versus. Uh, like minus what did I say? Minus yeah, minus one time to get a stop uh, like a stoppage victory. Um, Angel Hill, uh, I could see her winning here, but I'd say Lippy is should win here. Um, people are sleeping with Angel Hill for sure. I, I do think she is a live underdog. Um, Joe Mir Short taking on Bruno Silva. I got Bruno Silva by first round TKO. Uh, Ariana Lipsky versus Priscilla Cachoeira. I got uh, Ariana Lipsky by submission. Um, Devin Clark versus Azamat. Uh, Mirza Kanov. This is one of the fights I really didn't do much tape on, to be honest. That's why my breakdown was probably the worst um, for that fight. But yeah, give me Azamat to use his power, use his take down defense uh, against Devin Clark. He's not really a good striker and defensively pretty bad um, to, you know, KO in the first round or second round. Uh, Yasmin is obviously just way better, in my opinion, from the tape I've done. Uh, and she's, like, really impressive. David Onam, I've got Nate the Train to stop the hype train off. David Onam, more than Barrett, taking on uh, Dominic Cruz, I've got Dominic or more than Barra, uh, by submission. So yeah, uh, some of the plays you might be looking at in this, um, it's probably like, um, Josh Quinlan, like I said, KO stoppage, not a bad bet. Um, over like two point five in this fight, it's not a bad bet. Um, Marmby Day by you know. Stop each victory is not a bad bet at that, that those odds. Uh, Angel Hill, uh, I just didn't really like that. Probably Lupita by uh, decisions, like minus 120, I think, from what I've seen. Bruno Silva by knockout is probably a good way to uh, look at this fight. Um, and yeah, that's really all the looks I have for this card. I don't really have many like betting uh bats for this card the bats i have i'll go through them again use of allow two units to win 1.6 0 0.5 units to win uh 0 0.8 on gabriel benitez ode osborne martin Boudet. 
Uh, I have a two leg parlay in Yasmin Yorbegu taking on Bruno or taking on she get destroyed against Bruno Silva, <laughs> Bruno Silva uh, in that two leg parlay and then I have uh, by mistake like I said fight goes to decision in the Uday Osborne Tyson Lamb it's not a terrible bet but a, a plus 120 I think I got it at it's not great I would like a like a one plus 150 in that fight for sure so yeah there you have it guys there are my best bets best you know tips best um you know breakdowns predictions for this weekend i hope you guys enjoyed this uh breakdown if you did please like subscribe and you know do all that good stuff uh share it also follow me on twitter at mma uh aaron uh, instead of the o it's a zero and then yeah just follow me there um to you know stay tuned with all the you know mma stuff i post on there my hair is terrible man but yeah uh see you in my next breakdown video for ufc 278 isn't it next week so yeah hope you guys enjoyed uh goodbye